Hello, and welcome to this film about esterification reactions, which are basically reactions that we use to make esters. Hopefully, by the end of this film, you'll be able to put two reactants together and consider what ester will be made from them. And you'll also understand why this reaction can be called a condensation reaction. I'm just going to remind, well, we're just going to remind ourselves of um, what we already know about esters. And that is that this ester, which I'd call methyl butanoate, has got a part of it that looks like an alcohol and a part that looks like a carboxylic acid. Okay, and that should give us a clue as to what we use to make them. And we should already know, because it was mentioned briefly in the other films, that if you take an alcohol and a carboxylic acid, you're going to make a molecule that's got this functional group in it, which is an ester. Okay. So bearing that in mind, let's have a look at a particular alcohol and a particular carboxylic acid that we could mix to make an ester. Now, here's what we're told about the reaction. We're told that ethanol is heated in the presence of propanoic acid and sulfuric acid. And we might be wondering, what's the sulfuric acid doing here? Okay, well, a little bit like in the redox side of things when we were oxidizing alcohols, the sulfuric acid is a bit of a red herring. We don't really need to worry about it too much. In essence, the reaction is between the ethanol and the propanoic acid. So we've got an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. They're going to react together to make an ester. So I'm going to have to have an ester functional group in my product. Okay, and we're also going to consider what else will form. Okay, so here this hydrogen is basically going to be lost. This OH group is going to be lost. Okay, they're going to make water, and because we lose water from the reactants, or in other words, because water's formed, that's why this reaction is called a condensation reaction. Okay, if I highlight in different colors the part that's going to come from the alcohol and the part that's going to come from the carboxylic acid, then hopefully we can see more clearly when I write the products out which part of the ester came from which. Okay, so I'm just going to start with my carboxylic acid on the left. So that's CH3, CH2, C double bond O. Okay, and now we've got this new bond, which I'll put in red. Okay, there's a new bond between this carbon atom, because it's got this bond left over now, and this oxygen atom, because it's lost that hydrogen, it also has a bond. So now I'm going to go green. Okay, so there's my alcohol. Right, CH2, CH3. Now I've got this new ester group. Okay, so I've formed an ester. What's the product going to be called? Well, I took ethanol and propanoic acid, so it's going to be called ethyl propanoate. I'll just write that there. So that's ethyl propanoate. So that's how to put together an alcohol and an acid and make an ester. Remember that we often use an acid catalyst, but we don't need to include it in our equation. And also, very important, we're making water when this reaction happens, which is why it's called condensation. Let's just have another look. Well, not another look, but a look at another example. Okay, this time I've got propantool. It's heated in the presence of propanoic acid and sulfuric acid. So once again, we've got the sulfuric acid here, which we're not going to worry about. It's just a catalyst. Okay, the reaction is between the propantool and the propanoic acid. Now, you might be looking at that and thinking, well, that's secondary alcohol. Is it going to react differently? Well, no, not really. Um, we're going to still lose the H from the alcohol. We're going to lose the OH from the acid. We're going to form a new bond between this oxygen and this carbon. So if I just put this carboxylic acid part in green and this alcohol part in blue, Okay, then hopefully I can make it a little bit clearer when I show the products which part came from which molecule. So this time I'm just going to deliberately draw the ester group the other way around just to show that it doesn't matter which way around I do it. I've got this carbon joined to that oxygen. Okay, here's my ester functional group which is going to include this carbon and this oxygen. So they can, I'm going to put them in green. Okay, and then that chain is going to continue to CH2, CH3. And over this side, what was attached to this carbon? Well, I've just got to be a little bit careful here because I don't have 
a straight chain coming off this end. Okay. Now, how do I name this molecule? Well, that's a little bit more difficult. Okay, because now my um, you could consider that the alcohol part is branched. Okay, so I'm going to name it again after the alcohol and then after the acid. So this would be 2 propyl propanoate. So I'm taking the name of the alcohol and I'm using it as the start of my ester's name. So propantool or 2 propanol becomes 2 propyl and then propanoic acid, propanoate. Okay. Well, that's about it. That's about it for esterification. It happens when you take an alcohol and an acid and put them together. And hopefully you can see why this is called a condensation reaction. It looks like on the last slide I actually forgot to include the water. Okay. So when you're writing equations for these things, make sure you do that, unlike me in the last slide. Okay. But if, you've, um, if there's any other mistakes on this film or if you'd like to ask any questions, please feel free to post comments or to come and see me and ask some questions in person.